anyway, fine, fine, fine. We'll we'll make fun of Alex Jones. We'll do that. Uh, so for those who don't know, Alex Jones is having to get rid of InfoWars. And that's very funny to me. But first, let's take out some fan art. Let's go ahead and pull that out and watch some of that. Because uh, we're going to have brevity before we get into the brevity. Not brevity. What well, Levity. That's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, this is from... Um, a villain. That's what they said their name is. After a few days of throwing ideas and old design tricks together, I made an MOV of Slime Cirrus. Brick-built MOCs aren't my strong suit, yet nothing in stu uh, studio was good for a Bionicle Cirrus. By the way, I go by Rena. Oh, okay. So a villain is Rena. Rena the villain. Thank you, Rena the the villain. Said, I did not expect chrome gold pieces to render that way, so the rings, necklace, and belt are off color. More mistakes to learn from whenever I have the motivation to make a human Cirrus. That is just basically a Lego slime Cirrus. That is so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I don't care if things rendered in weird colors. That looks fantastic. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you all want your fan art to be shown in a future video, drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. Jesus, that's amazing. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what happened with Alex Jones. Uh, but first, but first. Bitter heart fight. <laughs> These people hate our children. I just, I just really needed to watch Alex Jones crying for a bit. It's more cathartic to me than you think. Anywho, uh, this comes from CBS News. Alex Jones, his InfoWars uh, website and everything else has to be auctioned off to pay for Sandy Hook families. Oh, boo-hoo, Alex Jones time. So Alex Jones's InfoWars media business can be auctioned off starting next month so the far-right conspiracy theorist can make payments to the families of victims of the 2012 Sandy Hook shooting as part of a $1.5 billion settlement. Alex, I'll buy it for a dollar. If I, if I would love to buy it, I would love to take your audience of gullible conspiracy nuts and challenge them. I mean, they're already challenged to begin with, but no, let's, I would like to actually challenge those people and see if they can learn how to, I don't know, think a little bit. That would be very, very helpful. I would be amazing. And I know for day-to-day -day life for these people, it takes a long time because life's very challenging when it's hard for you to tell if your milk has been corrupted by reptoids in the walls or some shit. That's already challenging for you, but... Come on, we can we can do better. InfoWars assets, including its social media accounts, copyright material, and trademarks owned by its parent company, Free Speech Systems, will be liquidated in November. Additional InfoWars assets, including studio equipment, would be sold at a later auction. Oh, sweet! I don't I don't need any of the studio equipment, like at all. Alec, uh, oh, there's wrong button. <laughs> Uh, Alex said, uh, how funny would it be if a leftist like Hassan bought it? Now, how, would it how funny would it be if a leftist like me bought it? That's what I want. I want it. I want all of his media empire. Give it to me. Sirs <laughs> needs the InfoWars desk. I need that cheap fake hot mahogany desk. I do. In a court hearing Tuesday, U.S. bankruptcy judge Christopher Lopez said that he would approve the sale but that he must first change a previous order to make clear that the trustee overseeing Jones's personal bankruptcy case controls all of Free Speech Systems' assets. Jones and the company filed for bankruptcy in 2022 after losing a defamation and emotional distress lawsuit, multiple lawsuits, by Sandy Hook's vi uh, victims' families after he repeatedly called the Connecticut school shooting a hoax that was staged by crisis actors. Adam Lanza killed 26 people, including 20 people in the shooting in Newton, Connecticut. So, I remember having a friend who very much believed in the Sandy Hooks uh, shooting hoax. This friend had children. So it's always going to be weird to me when somebody tells me, oh, no, these definitely are crisis actors. 
100%. These school shootings didn't happen. This school shooting wasn't real. Alpha says, uh, you could always host randomizer tournaments with it instead if, uh, if InfoWars was in my hands. If InfoWars was in my hands, and I, I want to know exactly how much it gets sold for, but, like, if it was in my hands, I would hold Magic the Gathering tournaments on the website. 110%. Lunar Muse says, sorry I'm late, I was playing the new Zelda. Oh my god, is it out? I want the new Zelda. I, I can't afford it, but I want it. <laughs> uh, Sakura says, I think my favorite quote from that series of trials was the plaintiff's lawyer to Jones saying, and that is how I know you lied to me. <laughs> Jesus, you said it's great, Lunar? Oh, that's fucking amazing. I, I want to I wanna get it. I want to get it very, very badly. So do you want the new Zelda too? but I'm stuck on ROM in the next few weeks? I am hoping that when the hurricane comes through here, we don't lose power because I just food prepped a bunch of veggies and it's like Napa cabbage and zucchini and all kinds of shit that is in there right now that I'll show you guys when we get to the cooking part of the screams or with the stream. But I, I don't want any of it to go bad. I really kind of like my food. I want my food to live. Smacko says, oh my god, playing magic with the conspiracy theorists? You're summoning toads that make my humans... They're, <laughs> they're putting something in the islands that's giving the toads trample. Stuff you can't eat raw. Uh, you can eat Napa cabbage raw. You can eat bok choy raw. You can eat zucchini raw. I've eaten zucchini raw. It's good. Uh, you can eat red pepper raw. Like, all that stuff you can eat raw. It's just, you'd rather cook it. And if I... If our power goes out, then I'm going to have to turn on the grill and dump all of the vegetables on the grill and just make the world's largest stir-fry that will not be consumed by anybody. I will not have the option. It's, I'm not going to be able to invite everybody and be like, hey, I know that the trees are down everywhere and nobody can fucking drive anywhere right now, but you want to come over for a giant stir fry that's totally not been made solely because I will run out of this shit if I don't use it? Uh, they're putting something in the mountains that gives the goblins plus one. I put Alex Jones into play. I turn all your frogs gay. Can you do the old ramen method and just salt wrap or the old Roman method and just salt wrap everything? I don't have enough salt for that, Smacko. I have one big can of Morton salt and one other thing of MSG, also known as racism salt. That's what I have. I said cabbage just turned into sauerkraut. I don't like sauerkraut, though. I don't want to ferment my cabbage. I don't like how it tastes. Anyway. The outcome of the InfoWars auctions could determine Jones's broadcasting fate. He has vowed to continue hosting talk shows and could do so through a new website or his personal social media accounts, which are not part of the sale. Anyone can bid for InfoWars assets under the terms of the sale, whether supporters or detractors. He said it's a very cut and dry that the assets of free speech systems, the website, the equipment, the shopping cart, and all that can be sold. Oh, that was sorry. I didn't realize that's what Alex said. So, um... It's very cut and dry that the assets of free speech systems, the website, the equipment, the shopping cart, all of that can be sold. And they know full well that there are a bunch of Patriot buyers, and then the operation can ease on. Christopher Matty, a lawyer for Sandy Hook Families, called the judge's auction order a significant step forward in holding Jones accountable for his lies. For his lies. Said Alex Jones will no longer own or control the company he built. Maddie said in a statement on Tuesday, this brings the families closer to their goal of holding him accountable for the harm he caused. Okay, but what happens when somebody buys the InfoWars website from Alex and then employs Alex? Like, do you remember that whole thing that happened with Keemstar where he got banned from YouTube and then somebody made the drama alert channel and just happened to have him as the guy at the front? Totally not him. And then it just all kind of got forgotten later. Like, it's the same thing. Sylvie Snow says, okay, seriously, what is racism salt? All right, cool. So MSG, MSG is a salt. And MSG is a flavor enhancing salt that is commonly used in Asian dishes. In the United States, we had an entire scare about MSG. And most of it got tied to racism. 
people didn't like MSG because they thought it gave you headaches and all this other stuff. Like, it gives you cancer, but really it's just a common ingredient in Asian dishes. It was all just xenophobia from the beginning. So, yeah, that that's all. When I call it racism salt, it's because historically that's kind of what it's been. Mystical Space Typhoon Salt? MS MSG, not MST. God. Uh, real quick, does MST negate? Anyway. Is that it? Is that all that's in the article? He did... Oh, okay. I just... Alex had to sell all the fish shit. Sucks to be Alex, I guess. Uh, not to be confused with Alec, uh, who's, who's got Gunter as the end, as opposed to Jones. Alex, Gunter, Alec, Jones. Hmm. There's something there. There's definitely something there. Anyway, uh, I thought there was going to be more to talk about here. I guess there's not. Um, This is awkward. I feel like I'm elongating the video, and it's really just my social ineptitude. Instant end of video tagline here. Hey, just wanted to give a quick thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who help keep me afloat and help keep this channel going. YouTube and Twitch are wonderful platforms, but at the end of the day, stability is not one of their strong suits. If you want to support my channel, then obviously Patreon is one of the best ways of doing that. Link is in the description. But I do want to personally thank everybody who has contributed to the channel. Those people would be Red Joker, Purple Poundini, Gemshin, Britzkrieg, Jupe the Malignant, Michael, Ravalern, Mabity Babity, Astral Frontier, Autumn and Angel, Nixie Chan, Agamotto, Victorian Alchemist, Sagitt I'm not saying the last part of that, and you know that. Arctan Arc Lassier, Curatorian, Dren Hadamata, Jordan M, John L, Lord Bleck, Smiling Game Master, and Fire Shard and everyone else who supports my channel and lets me do what I do full time. This is a dream job of mine that I never believed that I would be able to take full time, and with your help, I've been able to do it. So thank you so, so very much for that. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you all enjoy, and I hope you all are having a wonderful time. I will see you all in the next one, hopefully.